G'day everybody. This is a test video. Just um, halfway through my ride, my Parramatta roll. It's about a 38km uh, ride that I do. I try to do three to four times a week and in between riding I um, run. Well, I'm trying to learn to run, I should say, be more accurate. I'm sort of here at um, just outside of Parramatta. So interesting. Um, this is for some video for some friends regarding this location. You may notice if I get closer. This is um, for some Aboriginal, Indigenous Australian friends. I'm just um, zoom in on that. You'll notice that the um, the wood here has been sanded back. The reason for this is because this area here behind me, including the construction site over there, is an Aboriginal burial ground. Somebody doesn't like it being identified as an Aboriginal burial ground, so they've taken off the signs um, that indicate that this is an Aboriginal burial ground and they're building over there a housing area, a new estate on top of a Aboriginal burial ground. Actually, in fact, there are kids that were buried there that were murdered back in the last, in the 18th century, 19th century, sorry. Um, um, there were children that were murdered and then they were um, buried over here. So it's basically a sacred site. <clears throat> Parramatta Council doesn't care, they're not going to return the bodies, they're just going to build the, uh, the new buildings on top of the, uh, the bodies of the children and totally disacknowledge the fact that there's ever been any uh, massacre here. Tragedy. Yeah, so when I'm cycling around you see a lot of these kicking around, these sort of bright purple berries, and that's just might focus that a bit, these bright purple berries. They sort of sit on a, a grass-like plant. You see it a lot around Australia, or certainly see it a lot around Sydney. And these are edible. They're not a bad flavour. They've got a big seed in them. Um, but um, it's not that big. I mean, but it's quite a crunchy seed. But it's a nice, um, it's a nice flavour. It's very refreshing, and it's edible. Um, there you go. This is my new bike, or my newer bike. I actually found this bike on a rubbish heap. I pulled it off the throw out day heap and um, did a little bit of work to it and it replaced my old bike which I had for about 30 years. So this is a new one, it's a specialised there's not very, very much wrong with it. It was a very, very dirty, covered in spiders, cobwebs, a lot of dirt, um, a bit of rust. Um, and I had to do a few repairs to it to, to get it up and running. I had to put a, obviously some new tyres on it, some more road orientated tyres as opposed to the mountain bike tyres that were on it before. These are 1.5 millimetre tyres, or 1.5 one and a half, yeah, 1.5 mil, ah, oh, sorry, um, what am I talking about, one and a half inch tyres. Um, I'd like to get smaller if I could, but a bit hard to come by, I have to get them online if I want to get smaller, I just can't walk into a shop and get them smaller. It's got suspension, the suspension is pretty um, bottom of the line, but, you know, it's it works a treat for my purposes. Um, I put my original uh, Shimano clipless pedals on there. They're the original ones that were produced that Shimano made back in the uh, 90s. So they're the first ones. 
they're still fine. They'll last about another 100,000 kilometres, I'd say. They're, I mean, a few scratches on them, but they're hardly worn in all reality. They're fantastic. The cleats wear out faster than the pedals do. One day I might change those over to the XTRs. We'll get some new XTRs and put those onto another bike that I've got lying around that I want to um, get running. Uh, I had cha replaced the chain because I broke the chain a couple of weeks after riding the bike. I tend to break chains quite easily. Not that I'm cross cross gearing, uh, but I uh, just um, <coughs> I don't know. Been having a lot of fun with gears. I also changed the seat post. The seat post was um, quite short. This is a 400 millimeter seat post. Because the frame's not really my size, uh, putting a 400 millimeter seat post in there um, brought it up to the size that I need uh, for a good um, sort of um, leg position. I like, I've always liked the lower centre of gravity bike, anyhow, but there are a few problems, um, shortcomings with um, the smaller frame sizes. Uh, it's very hard to get a water bottle in and out of the frame. It's very tight fit and also when you need to sling the uh, bike over your shoulder it's pretty hard to sling a bike like this over your shoulder you, you end up having to rest it in your, the palm of your hand and it puts a lot of stress on your um on your um, um ah. on your wrists i'm getting old <coughs> puts a lot of stress on your wrists I also had to change the brakes. The brakes were, um, well, I had to ch change one of the brakes because they were, um, well, there was no uh, fluid in them and the fluid had dried up. Um, and to try and get some parts and that to get it to work going was going to cost me more, so I just replaced it with some Dior brakes. They went on there really easily. <coughs> um, put some new um, hand grips on there. And that's basically it. We really didn't have to do much. So it was really the brakes, put some tyres. I didn't have to put new tyres on, but I prefer slick tyres. I'm not really, um, you know, um, cross-country dirt um, all the time. I mean, this is more than good enough for what I'm doing. I mean, even if I was going down dirt roads, and that would be more than good enough. Um, <clears throat> um, so what do I do? I, I um, cleaned it up, new tyres, new brake, new seat post. And that was basically it. I had a new bike. I don't know why anybody would throw this bike out. It was just um, just rabid consumerism, really. There's um, there's years left in this bike. It's an aluminium frame. When I first got it, I thought the paint job was really um, worn out, and I thought I might have to repaint it. But then after cleaning it, I realised that the paint job itself, that's actually the paint job. So the paint job is designed to look like it's um, been through the wars all roughed up so the paint job's in actually pretty good nick. The frame's aluminium, it's an incredibly heavy bike though for an aluminium frame, um, way heavier than my um, my old bike uh, which is a triple butted chrome molybdenum uh, frame and um, it's way lighter than this bike. This bike's very heavy. That's basically it. So um, other things about the bike, the seat's a little bit narrow for my liking, so I must replace the seat with something that's a bit wider. I feel that it's um, pushed my sit bones apart and um, so over longer rides it does get rather painful in a, in a way that I've never felt before. So I think I'm going to go and get a Phenom, get fitted up for a Phenom. Um, and um, something a bit wider and also with um, one of the newest, as I say, the Phenom has a groove in it. Um, a channel through here, which I think, um, you know, well, on those long rides and that, you certainly can appreciate having a uh, having a, ch um, a channel through there. Uh, so it's you're not sitting and putting lots of pressure on yourself there. The other thing about it is I'm really, really not. I really don't like um, the SRAM gearing. SRAM gearing, I think, um, is just not nearly as good as uh, as Shimano. The, big issue that I have with SRAM is the it's um, the way these levers are located. This one here is, is on a hair trigger, you only have to touch it and uh, 
and um, it'll change gears and this has to, is a huge travel to try and get it to change up a gear you have to push it a long way so it's uh, it's not ergonomically uh, as well designed as the um, at the Shimano even on my original bike my the one that I just retired the travel on here is only a small travel whereas here it's at least twice the distance of the Shimano to move up a gear and uh, and the other trigger was up on top so therefore you know it was um you know click 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 you know push click push click was a lot easier to deal with whereas this is push and the whole rotation of your wrist and then a click and if I only have to touch that so you have to make sure your hand is right on the outside because if it gets anywhere near this and you hit a bump you change gears it's very very annoying so um and, uh, and I think with the newer Shimano, they have um, it's a push here and a pull on the other side, so your hand is always on, gripping the handlebar. Whereas, whereas this, I don't know, I don't like. It. I mean, undoubtedly, it's um, it's popular. A lot of people use it, but um, and not for me. And I've um, got a, um, a a Garmin 510. Pretty happy with that. I know a lot of people have been getting the Garmin's with the maps in them, um, and I, it's a very compelling idea having the maps in it, particularly if you're travelling, taking your bike from town to town or city to city, country to country. Having those maps would be really, really handy. Um, the um, the phone just um, I originally thought I'd oh, why would I want the maps? I'll just use my phone, but really at the end of the day, using the phone isn't particularly practical. Um, and then you have to mount the phone, then you've got a phone, and you've got a sock computer attached to it, it just becomes cumbersome so I think if I get another another sock computer I will get a um, one with maps in it so that's my bike